sometimes people will say to me, well, you believe in a God of the gaps. You believe that your God has just uh, explains the gaps that we in our scientific knowledge. And as those gaps become smaller, then the need for your God will disappear. Let me respond to that. Firstly, as science grows, as the circle of knowledge grows, the gaps actually get bigger. So in the old days, when the Vikings believed that thunder was caused by the god Thor, but now we know that in fact it's not caused by a mythical god in the sky, uh, but it's caused by the clouds uh, coming together in rain conditions, etc. Um, they think that that's done away with the need for Thor, which of course it has. But I'm talking about the God who made the clouds and who made the world and who made us. And of course, as we study his creation, he doesn't go away. In actual fact, he becomes more wonderful as we realize the things that he's done. Secondly, there's another God of the gaps that started to appear. Some people say this, well, we don't know why this evolved and we don't know how this evolved and we don't know where this is going, but we're sure that evolution or that there'll be a natural mechanism that'll explain it one day. Well, isn't that a God of the gaps? It's just a different God, that's all.